You may want to connect Microsoft Cloud App Security to your security information and event management system so you can have alerting from across your environment. Let's talk about how to do that using the Ceph format and syslog. The basic architecture here is we're going to be taking data from Cloud App Security and sending it to a syslog server that's running the MCAS SIM agent. And of course, that syslog server will then forward it off to your SIM. Requirements here, I got to have a SIM and I need a syslog server. That syslog server has to have Java 8 installed. That's required for the MCAS agent. It could be a Windows or a Linux server. And you got to have the MCAS SIM agent installed and you have to have the token as well. And you can see more information on this at the link down here at the bottom. The command we're going to run to set this up is once we get Java installed and we download that MCAS agent, we're going to run this command. And once you run it, it's going to kick off the process. Now, if you reboot the system, it's, not, it's going to stop the process and it's not going to run. So set this up as a scheduled task to kick off, regardless if a user is logged into the box or not. Also, when you create the token, it's bound to the person who created it in the MCAS portal. So if you remove that admin, then that token is no longer going to be valid. So make sure you have that factored into your process. Also, when you integrate your SIM with Cloud App Security, activities and alerts from the last two days will start to be forwarded to the SIM and then all future activities from that point forward. Okay, let's jump into a demo and take a look at how to set this up. Okay, within the Cloud App Security portal, we're going to go to the gear icon and choose security extensions. And then here we're going to click on SIM agents. Now I've already done this, but let me walk you through it. We're going to click the plus sign and we're going to choose generic SIM. We'll do Azure Sentinel in another video. And we're going to start the wizard for our generic SIM agent. And we're going to give it a name and choose our format. And then we're going to choose uh, our time format. Now I'm going to go ahead and include the priority code in the message header. And I'm also going to include the system name as well. And then we're going to tell it the IP address. And we're going to tell it the syslog port to use. And we're going to have it use UDP. And then now we're going to tell what type of alerts. So I can set my filter and, and filter out the types of alerts that I want. So maybe it's only, uh, you know, specific alert types. But for this demo, we're going to leave it wide open. And I could also filter down to specific user activities. So if I want to say only administrative activities or anytime somebody's using, you know, G Suite or something, I can do that. But for this demo, we're going to set to all activities. Click next. It's going to generate the agent. And then we are going to get two pieces of information. One is we're going to get this agent, this jar file that we have to download. And then we're going to get this token that we're going to copy to the clipboard. So now let's jump out to our server. Here's our syslog server. Here's the website where you go to download the SIM agent. I'll put this in the video description. And after I download the agent, I am then going to run that command that I showed you earlier. And so here's that command that I ran. And now I already installed Java 8, but in this command we've got where we're calling the SIM agent and then we are telling it the proxy address and telling it the token that we just copied from the clipboard. And then once we hit enter, it's going to initialize the agent and it's going to start running in the background. Now I have a Kiwi syslog set up and at this point here are the messages coming from MCAS directly into the syslog server. And it's actually coming into this uh, local file here. And if we open up that file, here we can see those syslog messages that are coming in. So here you go. There's all the different messages. It's that easy to set up. And I have already done this on uh, mine and here you can see my SIM agent and it's connected. As you can see, there's not a whole lot to set this up. It's fairly straightforward and easy. If you found value in this video, give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and click subscribe so you can be notified when I upload a new video. We'll be doing more and more videos over the next few weeks on cloud app security. And I'll even have another video coming up here shortly on how to connect this to Sentinel, Microsoft's SIM. All right, folks, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.